Hello students, in this video we'll talk about the tympanic or the attenuation reflex. Attenuation reflex is also called as the tympanic or the acoustic reflex and it is a preventive or a protective reflex which reduces the sound pressure amplitude by affecting the mobility of the auditory ossicles. The two muscles, skeletal muscles of the middle ear which are involved in the reflex include the tensor tympani muscle and the stapedius muscle. So the tensor tympani muscle, when it contracts, it uh, pulls the manubrium of the malleus median. So this is the tensor tympani muscle, which uh, pulls the manubrium uh, of the malleus medially and uh, decreases the vibrations of the tympanic membrane. As the name suggests, it tenses the tympanic membrane. The second muscle contraction that is involved in the reflex is the stapedius, and the contraction of the stapedius muscle pulls the foot plate of the stapes uh, out of the oval window and uh, when these uh, two muscles contract they make the ossicles rigid. The tympanic or the attenuation reflex is uh, the reflex which is seen uh, initiated um, by the loud sounds which causes reflex contractions of the middle ear muscles with a latent period of 40 to 160 milliseconds. So the stimulus for the reflex is uh, loud sound and the response is the reflex contraction of the middle ear muscles which cause the ossicles to be rigid. But this has a latent period of 40 to 160 milliseconds. And the contraction of the two muscles, that is the tensor tympani muscle, pulls the ma uh, malleus inwards whereas the stapedius muscle contraction pulls the stapes outward. So there are two opposing uh, forces which uh, makes the ossicular system rigid and also fail, the ossicular system fails to vibrate with the sound wave. So the sound wave is uh, not allowed to enter the inner ear. This decreases the sound transmission into the inner ear and uh, it is attenuated. Or the intensity of the sound is reduced by 30 to 40 decibels. The nerve supply of these two muscles include uh, the fifth and the seventh cranial nerve, that is the trigeminal and the facial nerve. The advantages of the attenuation reflex is it reduces the intensity of the sound, like the loud voice is converted to a sound. This uh, reflex also prevents the strong sound waves from causing excessive stimulation of the auditory receptors of the inner ear. Thus, it protects the cochlea or the inner ear from damaging vibrations caused by excessively loud sound like that of uh, loud music or of the jet aircraft, etc. Now, this reflex has a latent period of a few milliseconds. So, remember, because it has a latent period of 40 to 160 milliseconds, sudden uh, loud sounds like bomb explosion or gunshot is still likely to cause damage to the cochlea and cause deafness. The second advantage of attenuation reflex is it attenuates the low frequency environmental sounds and allows the person to concentrate on uh, high frequency sounds or the sounds above 1000 cycles per second. The low frequency sounds include the internal sounds. Most of the internal sounds have low frequencies so attenuation of these internal sounds will reduce their masking effect and improve the sensitivity of the ear to the external um, sounds which need to be heard. That is, it allows the person to concentrate on the high frequency sounds which are above 1000 cycles per second. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology for more videos.